if ever you want an example of how much animation can change in quality in such a short space of time, watch the 1931 Disney's Ugly Duckling, which is a silly symphony, and then watch the 1939 version. It is spectacularly different. Of course, the 1931 version is great in its own right. The story is kind of the basic premise of this little duckling who is cast aside and nobody really pays any attention to him because he is, in the title's own words, ugly. But he gets his chance to shine and proves that it doesn't matter what you look like, you have your strength and people can depend on you. I won't say what scenario arises for him to do that, but I was really impressed with the narrative development. I thought it gave us enough time to get to know the duckling and to see how he feels until it was his time to shine. And it's absolutely adorable. The ugly duckling is so cute. Let's face it, he isn't actually ugly. He's very, very cute. I really like the animation style. There's a really disturbing bit of animation of what I believe to be a version of Clarabelle Cow, where she's basically twisted like spaghetti strands. And there's a version of... Well, I don't think it's a, I don't know if it's meant to be Pluto or if it's just a dog that's slightly styled like Pluto, where he's only got half a body of fur. It's it's very creepy, but I really enjoyed it. This has a really lovely soundtrack. Obviously, it's not visually as sharp as the 1939 version, and to think how much changed in such a ridiculously short amount of time is just absolutely incredible. Of course, they were always kind of squirrelling away, away to make everything amazing and constantly improve things. And yes, the 1939 version is cinematically better, but actually I have a very soft spot for this 1931 version. I think I think the animation style, because it's not quite as crisp or, or sharp, makes the ugly duckling look a little bit more ugly and I feel sorry for him. It's very cute. Definitely check out this one. I think you'll really enjoy it if you're a Disney fan. But also check out the 1939 version and if you have a favourite, let me know which you prefer. Deep down, I can't choose a favourite, but if I was really pushed to, I honestly think I'd have to go to this 1931 version. It's directed by Wilfred Jackson, music by Frank Churchill and Bert Lewis. It's absolutely splendid.